In this training module, you're going to look at making the train move and then bringing it to a stop again. While many trains have different controls and are operated in different ways, there are basically always three controls that are common and are required to move the train. The reverser sets the direction between forwards and backwards. The brakes are used to slow or stop the train. The throttle controls how fast the train accelerates. In this train, the throttle and brakes are controlled by a combined power and brake handle. We want to move the train forwards, so move the reverser to that position. Pull the power brake handle toward you to release the brakes and apply power. Now that you've reached your target speed, you can move the throttle control back to zero. The train will then coast on level ground and the train will only slow down very gradually. While the specifics of operating brakes vary from train to train, the basic process of stopping is fundamentally the same. Bring this train to a complete stop by moving the power brake handle into the braking range. The amount of braking you'll need to apply also varies depending on whether you're going uphill or downhill, and how heavy your train is. Stopping a train is one of the biggest challenges of controlling them, particularly stopping them in the right place. That concludes this module. Restart the module to learn the steps again, or move on to the next module.